I was always skeptical because in my residency they kind of told us that it was too good to be true. Um, that basically these results that they're showing um, is it, you know, they're photoshopping the images or something. Um, and then little by little I started learning that my, um, you know, the, my faculty and every, they, you know, that, that taught me in Imperio, they were, were adopting this new technology in their office. So I started thinking, hmm, so maybe there is something about it. And then when in, in 2016, when it was FDA approved, then that kind of um, made me uh, want a, a laser in my office. Teeth that I thought were um, before, maybe two years ago, I would have just pulled it out. Now um, I, I don't. I try to keep all the teeth in the mouth. Uh, these teeth that, that are completely loose, um, and then on the x-ray, it looks like they've lost all the bone. I, I treat them, and two weeks later, they're hard in the mouth. So that right away convinced me. A patient that was 30 years old, she came into my office because she had some recession in her gums. Um, so she had one little tooth on the bottom that had a little bit of recession, she came, and she hadn't seen a dentist in about five years. Um, I, we, I looked in her mouth, and I immediately knew that it wasn't just the recession that she needed treatment for. Uh, she had a generalized um, bone loss. Um, her gums were just very inflamed. And she had a tooth that was, in my opinion, on its way out. If, if she hadn't come in that day, maybe in the next week, it would have fallen out of her mouth because it was so mobile. Uh, so we treated her. I didn't really see her for about three months. She was not the best patient. But um, when she came in three months later, there was such a big improvement in her mouth. And she was very happy. She said she was kind of busy, she couldn't come in, but I was just very happy that we were able to do that for her. And the tooth that I thought was a goner was still there and actually um, doing, doing well. So There are a lot of different ways that we can use the periolase, uh, not just Lanap. We can use it in, in, in a lot of different treatments. I tell them, okay, maybe you don't need full Lanap therapy, but the laser pocket disinfection along with, with an, uh, a scaling and root planing. Um, there are de many different ways you can use this, the laser. So it's, it's not just your horrible patients that they have teeth falling out of their mouth. It's, it's um, patients that have um, just like the gingivitis that won't go away. <laughs> I tried it on a patient that um, just her gums, every time she came in, she thought it was hormonal. We really couldn't get to, there wasn't a lot of attachment loss. There wasn't, she wasn't really uh, probing much anywhere. Um, but I, I treated her with, uh, with laser. And um, a week later, her gums were pink and healthy. You know, it's very healthy. I haven't done osseous for a year, really. I haven't, it, because I've just, I actually, prefer this treatment because I feel like I'm not hurting my patients as much as I used to. My patients are just amazed that afterwards that they, they really didn't have to take any pain medication. I tell them to take the ibuprofen, but a lot of people don't want to. Um, and then they say, why? I don't have any pain. So.